Hey guys, so it's been a while since I've posted my last video, probably a little over a month. I'll be honest, I've been putting a lot of focus into the writing gig that I have, so I have fallen a little behind, but we're here now. To catch you up to speed a little bit, in the beginning of May, Marshall actually flew out to Phoenix to help me drive back to Kentucky. I could have done it by myself, but honestly, I didn't want to. 1,600 miles is a lot for one person uh, towing a camper, and that just, yeah, I didn't want to. I also wanted him to see Arizona because honestly, the state is absolutely amazing. Especially at that time, I was up in elevation a little bit, so I wasn't quite getting the heat of Phoenix, and I really wanted him to see Sedona too. However, things did not go as planned at all. So, <laughs> I don't even know where to start. The truck is starting to break. <laughs> I was driving and it started feeling like the truck was kind of pulling me back a little bit. I thought it maybe it was just the road. And then the traction control light came on and the check engine light came on and it started making a really weird noise and I got really scared. So we pulled off into the next exit and... Um... So, bought all the tools I already had at home that I didn't leave you with. And my clamps I need for my entryway table. I, I think it was a pretty big wiring harness that got chopped up because all kinds of random shit are failing. All the codes I'm reading says that like you can drive for a little while, so don't but don't be crazy. I don't know if I want to drive 1,300 miles though, towing a camper. I don't want to drive into the mountain where the camper is. <laughs> it's got the P0348 air, which apparently is notorious for rat, rat and rodents. It's got to be rat damage though, for so many things to fail all at the same time. Yeah, the scary one was the uh, brake malfunction. Yeah, wire is frayed, stays together until we get home. Man, we even put that disco party in there. Dang. Maybe we just entice them. Maybe. They're really just inviting their friends over. <laughs> Traction control. So when the camshaft sensor, apparently when it gets disabled, it just goes into a certain mode so you don't get all the added benefits of the Atkinson cycle. So it pretty much just goes into standard auto cycle and just stays there. Does it uh, still feel like the power's low? Yeah, it's definitely not as zippy as usual, but it's not bad. I'm more worried about that brake malfunction. It's definitely sluggish though. So I've literally like, Marshall's only been here, <laughs> what? Uh, not even 24 hours. No, I think now 24 yeah. hours. Yeah, and the truck is breaking on us. I'm just glad he's here, because I wouldn't know what to do. <laughs> so, what are you doing? Where are you going? Yeah, take five stuff. On the plus side, we have a very, very big sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> it's the biggest sandwich I've ever seen. My videos have been pretty chill since I've been here by myself. You come and chaos is ensuing hey, all around me. I told you your videos needed more conflict. Can the conflict stop being with the truck? <laughs> Can it be like I get chased by a moose or something? I'd rather have that. So, brake, gas, both. For 15 seconds. Oh. I don't know what to do, Sam. I'm starting to think that doesn't work. I'm starting to think it doesn't either. So, a brake malfunction error kept showing up. So, what would happen? We'd be driving down the interstate at about probably 55, 60 miles an hour because uh, we just we were scared to go any faster, honestly. And the code would pop up and the truck would lose power. Well, losing power on the interstate is pretty terrifying, especially with Phoenix drivers. And this would happen about every three miles. So we'd pull over and 
we found this hack online, kind of like what you would do to unfreeze your phone, where you press the right pedal, press the left pedal, and then press both the pedals down for 15 seconds, obviously with the truck off. I'm not sure if the hack actually worked or if just letting the truck sit for a second helped get rid of the code again so we can go, you know, another three miles down the road. All in all, it was not an ideal situation at all. We ended up just pulling over into a parking lot off of one of the last exits before going into the mountain. We wanted to see if Marshall could rig up something to either get us back to the camper safely, and if not, we weren't too far from a dealership in Phoenix. So it's right in there. You can see the wires frayed. There's the sensor. See how it's frayed in there? Is it so bad that we need to go to a dealership or? I mean, if I could get it unplugged with the right tools, I'd be fine. He got it though. He freaking got it. If I could just wire that bitch back up, we should be able to at least make it home. Oh, those alligator clips I bought. Grab those. Okay, if I can cut this sheath back, I feel like I'm doing surgery. He got into all three of them motherfucking wires. But this is the only one that broke. I'm trying to also keep them apart, that way they don't short each other out. Try it. Clear the codes again. It's a permanent code though, I think, so I won't be able to do it unless I've got the Tacoma software, or the Toyota software. The traction control one went off. Okay, let's turn it off. Turn it back off. Let's see what she does. Still super low power. Maybe drive that way, go around the outlet mall. So if it stops again, you can go into a parking spot. I mean, it feels pretty normal. The computer made us have to reprogram. Some things when you fix it, it takes going through an entire cycle. They've got some sort of cycle you have to go through or so many miles at a certain temperature and then it realizes, oh, all the f I went through the entire sweep of the sensor it's good. Oh, I'm going for it. We die on I-17. It's hot. But I got that sensor jumpered out with some alligator clips. Hopefully that'll get us home and then I can do yeah. it more. Well, Nothing, to the campsite. Yeah. No, nothing's come back on and he has his cruise control again. Yeah. So that's a good sign. It's crazy that one sensor does so much damage. I don't know, but... I was by myself. I would have called Progressive, had the truck towed immediately. I wouldn't even mess with it. I, it would have ended up at the Tacoma dealership, and I either I would have had to either call someone I know in the area or got yeah. an Uber all the way out here and spent two hundred dollars going front, like going back and forth. Yeah. It yeah. would have been a shit show. Um, we got lucky. And it would have been a two thousand dollar shit show. Yeah. All right. So where do I want to work on this thing? You put it under here, put it underneath the tree. Just let it cool off. Mm -hmm. We made it! That alligator clip thing worked. So I used a jumper wire, uh, alligator clips. Backseat's a mess. <laughs> yeah, I you. Hi, bud. And was able to get an alligator clip. The jumper the wire. What you doing, Sam? I deserve this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were about to call defeat. Oh my god, I need a Uber to get to the dog. And you can stay here. Fuck you. <laughs> I was literally gonna leave you with the, with the dog. <laughs> First thing is my priority, not you. You can take care of yourself. <laughs> oh, I guess we'll just let the engine cool off and. What a fun day in Phoenix. Well, it did save us going out to eat, so we saved some money. But I did buy all the same tools that I already had, so. And we have our plate of rocks. <laughs> yeah, Dad'll like those. We'll put those in the rock tumbler. Good 
Scoochies. Scooch. I think it's gonna be a little more work than I was hoping. I think even if I unplug it here to get to the wiring harness, uh, there's just too much stuff in the way. I think I'm gonna have to take off the intake and hope to God I don't damage the gasket. <clears throat> Sucks I gotta be in here. Which is torqued down for sure. Okay, so I'm gonna give you bolts and I need you to put them in order. Mainly because it's going to an aluminum head and I wanna keep- Would the little magnet thing help? I gave you a magnetic dish? Sweet. Did give you needle nose pliers, but I give you a freaking magnetic dish. So I gotta keep them in order. So this is gonna go there. Alright, beer break. You can see now that I've taken it off the state of those wires. That one was completely chewed apart, that white one. And this guy is chewed a little bit. And it must have just been okay enough until we were driving and it just it's finally enough. broke. Yeah. There's enough meat that I can probably make it work till we get home. But I'm gonna have to buy a new connector. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna splice those to get us home and then, like I said, replace the connector. After I get home and we put the new connector on, I'm gonna wrap that new connector in steel wool. Mice don't like to chew on steel wool, so that should at least protect it from any further damage. We really can't talk smack about the rodent deterrent we bought because we don't know when the damage happened. Sam had already saw some footprints out up here, so it could have just been somewhat damaged and just over time it finally failed. Yeah, it's been there a, way, a, a while because these wires are showing some weathering. That tells me just it's been exposed for a while, you know? Mm. No, whenever that started making the noises though, and you looked at me and you're like, when's the last time you checked the oil? <laughs> I just like white. <laughs> like, oh my God. I'm so glad the oil was full. <laughs> you are so glad the oil was full. No, this is my fault. <laughs> so basically I'm just gonna twist them together cause I don't have enough meat here to put a connector on it. And that'll get me at least till we get home and then I can I've already ordered a new connector and yeah, these wires they've been exposed to the elements for a little while don't even have electrical tape I'm gonna use gaffer tape that's all I brought can we get it there we go And connected. What sucks is I can't even test it to see if she's good. She's good. She's got to be good. I guess we start putting it back together. It's such a tall truck. You decided to put a three inch lift on it. You like it. I do like it. All right, let's go for a test drive. We just need this to last 1,500 miles. <laughs> so good. Man, I look rough. You're just inside a vehicle. Like, in the mouth of a vehicle. I don't want to say things Gobble. when you're recording me. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> I could make it on YouTube, but I don't want to say things. We still good? And we're getting 20 miles to the gallon for now. Yeah, wait till we get that scamp on there. Oh god, it goes down to 13. Well, no, it goes between 14 and 16. Well, that's the way I drive. I drive carefully. You drive like a crazy person. I drive like I want to get home. I drive like the scamp is behind us and I don't want to fishtail and go off the road. I would like to, I drive like I want to get home. You drive like you want to get home. <laughs> I know you've had a rough day. 
here comes Percy. Have you had a rough day too, Percy? To no more issues? That went down a lot easier than I thought it would. Yeah. Where's your little metal trash? Metal trash? Aluminum foil, I guess. Oh. You wanna do another one? Welcome back. You seem unhappy. I'm very unhappy. <laughs> Two days in a row, I've had a bad day. <laughs> I'm not used to you being here anymore. Why? Just, I'm not used to you like being here while I do camera stuff. Oh, am I bugging you? No, it's just, you're, you haven't been here for three months, so oh. it's weird. You're cute. Oh, yeah. Stop looking at me! Oh, I thought you were talking to me. <laughs> so, today, we went to Sedona. Um, oh, stop looking at me! <laughs> okay, stop. You're making me show my crazy. <laughs> So today we went to Sedona. I didn't record any of the hike that we did because it was the same hike as the last video I posted. I just wanted Marshall to see the views. And but about halfway up, started just feeling a little weird. And then we got up to the top and I was like, I really have to pee. And so I took a squat <laughs> and uh, it hurt a lot. I am extremely prone to UTIs, so I know when a UTI is setting in, and I pretty much ran down the mountain and set up, immediately set an appointment for urgent care. Past two days hasn't been great. <laughs> it sucks. When I get UTIs, they happen incredibly fast. So from the first pee that I took at the top of the mountain that was painful to my next pee at the bottom of the mountain, there was already blood in my urine. My kidneys were already starting to ache a little bit. I don't mess around with that stuff. Like I get it, I need to get in very fast and get antibiotics. So it's like, I've gotten UTIs for as long as I can remember, like since high school. And it's, I do all the right things. It's just, sometimes the environment just doesn't work well with me. I have been a bit dehydrated and between a lot of coffee and alcohol, I'm not setting up the right environment for my body. So I'm kind of nearly inviting bacteria at that point, I guess. Yeah, kind of ruined the day I wanted for Sedona. So now we're trying to figure out when the best time would be to drive back to Kentucky because we are probably going to have to drive around storms or try to try to just navigate where like as storms are popping up, we're either already past it or we're like so before it that it won't affect us. I have to figure out what day would be best to do to do that because it's a non like without stopping from here. It's a nearly a 24 hour drive, um, about 1600 miles. It's Marshall is natural habitat. Watching YouTube. Watching Fab Rats, We're fixing a old truck. Driving down the road that I grew up on once again It's when I pass your door the memories come back again Pictures of us flooding back just like a wave Makes me wonder what happened, what you're up to today Remember when we stole your mother's car, we drove for days Teenagers with too many feelings and rage We were higher than the ceiling Middle fingers to the sky I remember thinking if I only could stop the time So as you can see, I am back in Kentucky at our by the lake house. It's not on the lake, but it's pretty dang close. 
Marshall did end up fixing the truck when we got back. So he installed a new camshaft position sensor connector. That is a mouthful, by the way. I didn't put the fix in this video because I'm actually gonna make a how-to video just showing exactly what he did to fix it. So anyone that ever has an issue like that doesn't have to watch a whole entire vlog to get to the solution. If you are interested, keep a lookout for that video. I do have plans to go back out, more than likely to Colorado, but until then I'm pretty much just writing articles, floating on the lake in my kayak, and um, doing small trips with the scamp just to kind of alleviate my need to get back on the road. But um, until I do go back out, keep a lookout for the next video, and I will see you again soon. Bye!